Welcome back. Sasha 23 here, back at Jim's Bar in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana, checking out a lot of knives. Um, today we're going to look at mainly autos, Microtex, Protex, and we got our Spider Co. in the mix. First up is the um, the Exoset Bounty Hunter Apocalyptic. This is this is really cool. It's like that credit card style. Not really for me, especially. Um, look at the Mandalorian there. That's pretty sick. I don't really, I'm not, the, the, this blade shape doesn't really do it for me, but I would love to get a, uh, <laughs> a Troodon in the Bounty Hunter. Just a regular Troodon with the Tento. I think that would be slick. Or just a regular Troodon. I, I want one of those so bad. Can't find one in the configuration that I want. Uh, this is a signature series. There's a price tag on it. This one's pretty sweet. Uh, this is in the DLC standard in the hardware too. ETX 85. Um, very, very awesome action on this one. Super nice. That DLC blade's pretty slick. That thing is, wow. That Look at that. You could definitely uh, pick your teeth with that one, huh? That thing is nasty. The action, like I said, is flawless on this one. Very smooth action. The hardware is even DLC'd on this. This is a signature series. That's why it is a little bit more. This is uh, very new. Look at that, 2021. All right, the next is a new Exoset that they got in the other day. Here's the price tag on it. This is the, I mean, I'm sorry, the Dirac. <laughs> I was looking at the Exoset when I said it. Dirac technical standard this one the action is amazing i love the the button right here it's so much easier to fire for me at least but man look at that that's another one that woo, that would do some damage Just think about that one copper dice yeah that was pretty sweet the action what do you think about the action i think the it's middle the this of, this uh, action is just so easy this one and that one are pretty comparable but i don't i don't know but what i'm saying that this this button right here just makes it so easy to i don't know what what the difference is i guess that side is just for me oh yeah it's, it's more natural yeah i don't know but both of them i think that's a you know not a terrible is price the only blade shape direct i don't know does direct come in any other blade shape um, I want to say I thought I saw some Spartan ones they did at one time. That's the. Uh, it's like a, oh yeah, like where it's like the a, two tips at the yeah, front. Yeah, it's like a gladius sword. Yeah, I think, but it, but you would think they would all be some sort of dagger esque type blade yeah. because of the way the button is. Um, super cool. And put these off to the side. I don't want them to fall. All right, and we got some Protex. We got a we got a operator SNG. These these haven't even hit the shelves yet. But do you know what the operators run, Brian? Offhand? I can get you an idea. There you go. You hadn't even had a chance to log these in. They got the tritium in the button. These things hit hard. It's this be about oil. About two fifty. That's a, that's a good price for you getting a basically a Strider SNG made by Protec Auto. Um, this one's all blacked out. They don't even have the the SNG logo on this one. <laughs> look at look at the fingerprints. How that's the only bad thing. Once I'm sure once you get the oil off, the fingerprints won't be bad. But these things have recall to them, and the, you know, a lot of people like the Operator series. And then he's got some. He's got a. He just got in some unique, unique ones. And this one I think is pretty cool. This is. Let's see what the box says. There it is, thicker black, what is that? There you go, the aluminum and a custom unique micarta handle. I think this is crazy fiber, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of looks like a zebra right there. And then they got the um, mother of pearl, right? Correct. Inlay on the button. This, this one's beautiful. This one has the logo. This is the Murdered Out Operator series. How much do the, the one-offs go? Those are gonna be around 300 around 300 now this is micarta and it makes this thing super lightweight this one's beautiful i have my eyes set on another one but 154 cm 
fuck about comfortable. That SMG is just, mm. and I love how they like, they, they soften and round these, these edges right here. So that is the Protex that they got in. Definitely, if y'all are interested in any of these, call Gems, Firearms, and Batteries. I'll leave all the information down in the description like I always do. Um, and this is one I hadn't checked out, a Spider Co. I don't think, may have way back when. But this is the Spider Co. Rock Jumper. It's a pretty cool little knife, kind of. I saw people talk about it. This looks a little odd. Look at this. Does that look odd? Look how much room right there. Yeah, but it's smooth. That is a smooth knife. I yeah. I guess just. Very, very smooth. Is it on washer? I guess there's washers in there. Whoever put it together did it. Yeah. I'll tell you, the ergos on this, usually this hump right here. Look. Oh, I just noticed there's no jumping. Yeah. Damn. That's why it feels so good. Yeah, you're right. They usually have on the, on the, uh, the, what you call it, there's usually jumping on it. The ramp. I, I would like to wait to see if they had better steel. Or... Yeah, but I, I don't know. I thought this was what is that? A sal glasser? Yeah, sal glasser, right? Yeah, that's one of his designs. Um, yeah. I wonder. I'm sure there, there's always a chance. I wonder, but it, it, they they got the Delica and the Endura. This must be in between that, huh? Of that warning. Yeah. But this is comfortable. I guess it's kind of like the Indella of that series. Yeah, this one's probably the smoothest uh, lightweight I've ever felt. I don't know if they got, Let's see if I can see. Looks like there's some space in there. Yeah, cause it's on stainless. There's a stainless in, what you call it in there. So there's, there's probably washers in there. Uh, VG10, cool, cool knife. Blacked out clip, got the bi-directional texture. Definitely, definitely cool one. There we go. What's in your pocket today? Copper dice. Uh, he's got the murdered out uh, Koenig. I got the TRM Shadow in the pocket. And what you got, bro? Look up. Oh, and then we got a Bird Blade. Uh, yeah, he uses the, the, the dude, <laughs> well, I can't say, but he uses this one a lot. He, this is his daily user. Yeah, oh, I mean, and you got the inserts. I broke the tip off and had it reprofiled. Yeah, he, I tell you, the guy that, that does, who's, who sharpens this, what's his name? McKenzie. Um, is he the, the hand sharpener that you mm -hmm. said? Oh, so that's, who, that's who's yeah. doing it? Yeah, he does a great job, great job sharpening. And like, that's what Time Mascus looks like, worn. I love seeing that wear, I think. When you see wear on a knife, that's when that's when it really looks good. <laughs> that's just I even dent the pocket clip. You can see how it's all. Oh yeah, look at that. Down. And that's that. <laughs> see, he he created. He wanted a ramp on his Damascus pocket clip. Dude, why you didn't send it to me? I could have fixed that <laughs> before you did that. I could probably still fix that, but look, hey, like that. That's what you. That's what he put. He wanted a ramp in his pocket clip. Damn. I'll tell you what, these backspacers look mine remember how sick mine's like yours oh, like yeah. this god they look so good look at that but that's what black time maskers i think, I think so. i'm not i'm not a huge time maskers person but just very very nice it's always nice to see what everybody's got in the pocket um y'all want to hear a sad story look well no i won't, I won't talk about it <laughs> Very, very, very nice. This is uh, courtesy of Fanatic Edge for anybody who's just tuning in for the first time and hasn't seen this one on my channel. God, it's so smooth. I've been contemplating on uh, trading off my uh, Mini Goblin. Looking for, I'm looking for a, uh, what is it, the Evo, I think it is. The, I can't think of the Rotten Design Evo. That's what I would love to, to get my hands on. But nobody wants to part with theirs, I understand. The version two. So there y'all go, now I'm just rambling on. If you have any questions or comments, concerns about any uh, anything, please feel free to let me know down in the comments section. Um, like I said, if, if y'all want, any of these knives in particular 
Uh, just well, not these two. Just call up Jim's and uh, ask for Brian or Ross. They will take care of you. Tell them I sent you. And there you go. Signature Series 85. ETS 85. That's it. All right. See y'all in the next one. Peace.